Hey guys, welcome back. And as the boss of the Itty Titty community, I am here to share some tips and what you can wear in order to sway away the attention from the chest and the booty. I get so many comments about my chest, about girls' sizes, about my nose, and I'm just so sick and tired of it because girls can look sexy even as a small chest. I remember I made a video a long time ago about struggles of small chest as a K-pop artist because when I was on stage, I felt pressured to have like a bigger chest. I remember I wore like two bras once. I mean like, yeah, it happens. I really miss performing and I know in the K-pop industry or entertainment industry in general, it's really hard as girls to maintain like the chest area while looking good or while looking sexy. And no girls, it's not true. The myth is busted. The guys don't always like girls with just bigger chest. I talked to so many other guys and most of them said size really doesn't matter and actually I met guys who like or prefer petite Heat. I'll link down below an actual study depending on the age, depending where you grew up, depending on your wealth status as well or your class status that actually affects what men prefer in breast sizes and men come in all different sizes too so <laughs> like look at the size of this bombshell bra you guys it's literally like four inches here like it is super big but this is super uncomfortable I used to wear this all the time I cannot wear this anymore number one tip is patterned outfits actually the first outfit I'm showing you guys is my Halloween 2020 costume or Halloween outfit as you could say. I just have to say it is so revealing, I know. But again, I really like to stick to patterns and unique clothing. That could be just my style, but I just think it's better than wearing just like plain clothes. I just really like wearing patterns because it pops out and it just gives you a fashion statement instead of like someone focusing on girls' body parts. Also, a lot of K-pop stars, you know, love accessorizing. They love like crazy patterns and crazy clothing and that really does take away the focus but I do feel like in the West things are more sexualized like you need to have big chest big booty small hips in order to be considered sexy so that part I love about k-pop it's just about fashion and art it comes with a sock as well a long knee-high sock but as you guys can see I don't have a huge chest I don't have a huge butt but I think I personally rock this outfit and everything just speaks Fashion. And the second thing I want to point out is accessorize, you guys. Accessorize, accessorize, accessorize. It really makes a big difference, you guys. Especially head accessories just make a world of a difference. Again, pattern, 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 pattern hats just really upgrades your look. Adding like a head accessory just changes the whole outfit vibe. I also have these cool patterned masks as well. This is a Halloween themed, but again, you guys could add patterns to your mask. The second tip is pop of color. I love to wear pop of colors. You guys know I've, I'm known for wearing crazy colors. So bright orange, something like this, is a really great choice. Again, it takes away the focus from your body to colors. Cool fashion details such as holes, or letterings. And for my shoes, I'm actually wearing a white boot with it. Shoes are really important as well. I love knee high boots. I feel like white shoes are just so classy and it just like gives a pop of color as well. Along with it, I wear some fur jacket because I don't want to wear just a normal jacket. I need some kind of fur or something. In the talk about accessories, I think tattoos are another form of accessories. I love it when people have like long sleeve tattoos. I think it looks so cool. Especially when females have long sleeve tattoos. I always look and be like, oh my god, you look so sexy. But I don't want to have permanent tattoos. It's just not me. First, I just want to say thank you to Prinker for sending me some temporary tattoo printer. This is so cool, you guys. This is really for those who want to try out tattoos, but you don't want to commit to it. Uh, it comes with a skin primer, it comes with the tattoo printer, and a charger, of course, and then I have the ink inside of here. Printer is a printer where you could print out any design you want that you could possibly think of. You could also create your own design in the Printer app. It connects to the Bluetooth with my phone, and the first that I want to try was Grazy Grace. Um, so I had my own name here printed on me. I also was looking at many different. First up, all you have to do is put the primer onto your skin, pick out a design you want and just hit the printer button. It looks like this on the bottom here. You're gonna put it onto your skin and roll it really quickly. And then you have your custom printed tattoo ah! on your skin. You can print tattoos on your skin. Like this is revolutionary. The ink is also high grade cosmetic ink. <laughs> Banana. Trick or treat. What? 
tattoos just changed and accessorized my whole look. I look like a whole different person, especially if you guys are influencers or into makeup and beauty and styling. I think you could use this in many different ways. Go and check Prinker out. Thank you so much, Prinker, for sending me this and letting me try it. My third advice is wearing corsets. Now, I did not discover corsets until this year and I am obsessed. Corsets just, just upgrades the fashion level and usually corsets do come with a little bit of padding, especially if they're a smaller chest. I think it really makes it look fashionable rather than, you know, focusing on the body parts again. Even when I wear normal sweaters or tops, I really like to put some kind of accessories in it. So this sweater has kind of like a shoelace design on the side and, and those details just make the whole look. For the accessories, um, this is a cool mask that I found. This is apparently like a head accessory slash mask that you tie up here. Cute pattern and a pop of pink color. For the accessories, I decided to stick with the pearl theme. I thought pearl looked so elegant and graceful. This does remind me of Blackpink Genie. I like how this headband isn't too crazy, but it's just very elegant. Next outfit is another corset dress, but this does not have the cup over here. It just comes right below your cup. I wore it with some white spaghetti top that already kind of is balloony, so, so it does make you look like you have a little bit of chest, a little bit of volume, but there's another picture where I wore just flat out flat bodysuit, and I thought that looked great with it as well. It's kind of under U-shaped, I think just kind of makes your chest look very flattering, even if it's a small chest. It doesn't look sexual at all. I think it's just a nice fashion statement. This one is a very PU plasticky material. I matched it with some arm gloves. This arm glove have actually diamond stones in it. It is so beautiful, as you guys can see. It's glitter, it's pink. It keeps your arm a little bit nice and warm, maybe for the winter. The next tip I have is wearing mesh clothes. Mesh clothes are see-through-ish and I really like to wear some bralettes or even just a regular bra or swimsuit underneath and I think it looks so, so stunning. The one that I'm particularly wearing is a glitter mesh and I thought this was so extra. Yes, the focus is going on the chest but it just looks more fashion rather than sexual. On the bottom, I'm wearing some pencil skirts. Pencil skirts also kind of like hug into your body frame. So it does make you look like you have slimmer waist and a a little bit of volume on the side. The one particular that I have also has a corset or a shoestring detail to it. The colors that I'm wearing are just beige. It's kind of basic, but with these like accessories, it just makes it look not that basic. I'm also wearing a mesh top right now. This one I got from Pretty Little Things. As you guys see, I'm wearing a bralette underneath. This one has an open shoulder kind of concept here. It just accentuates the beautiful female shoulder line. And I feel like you don't need cleavage showing here in order to be sexy. I think this itself looks so fashionable and sexy itself. I also forgot to say whenever I'm accessorizing, I love to mix and match my earring. I just don't want to stay normal. Is that just me? The last tip that I have is just stay confident. Don't don't worry about what other people say, other people comment. Even if you see Kylie Jenner, yes, she's beautiful, but not everybody has that kind of body and you don't need that kind of body in order to look good. If you're confident, everybody in the world will see you confident. If you're insecure, everybody in the world will see you insecure. You guys, I hope you guys enjoy that video. If you guys have any tips on how to stay confident or any fashion tips, let me know in the comments down below. Stay confident, my girls and boys.